My darling son's gone off on some fool errand. I hope he returns in one piece. Oh no, he was such a good son, always thinking of his mother. Why did he have to go and do such a stupid thing? Thanks for bringing these to me. I'll make an omelette in his memory. It will be salted with my tears and peppered by my grief. I've been working the Deep Crag Den for years, and I've never heard of a single instance of a Kwama attacking a handler. Something very strange is going on. They say there are fumes in the mine, but I don't see how that's possible. We're raising Kwama, not digging for minerals. The livestock's gone mad, and what does he do? Back into the mine he goes. Sorry, I haven't time for pleasantries. We're having a bit of a crisis here. This is Deep Crag Den, a Kwama mine. But something's gone wrong. Some kind of fumes have filled the mine, and the Kwama are going crazy. They're attacking the workers. I've been making potions to counter the fumes, but I'm running out of ingredients. My husband, Boro, went back into the mine. What is he thinking? I'm sorry, what did you say? Help? Yes, all right. I need aloe or redweed to make more potions. They grow all around here. You can forage for some, if you're willing. I asked Nelvin and Marolos to gather plants. They might have some, but it wouldn't surprise me if they just ignored me. The workers don't like me very much. Otherwise, check the area. Redweed grows near the rocks. Aloe should be out in the open. Thank you. I really am trying to help. Both plants will work in the potion, so anything you find will help. Between the fumes and the berserk Kwama, I didn't think I'd make it out of there. They say there are fumes in the mine. But I don't see how that's possible. We're raising Kwama, not digging for minerals. As usual, Oral's wife wants someone else to do her work for her. She's a bit spoiled, if you ask me. Yes, I'm sure. Idrasa will have to do her own work this time. I've been working the deep crag den. It seems Adrasa has found someone new to do her work for her. I'm sure. Running around digging up plants isn't going to help the headache I have from those fumes. I never knew Kwama could be so vicious. Praise Vivek. 
I need to get these potions to the workers as soon as possible. I'm sure it will help. It has to. I don't know. How would I know? I don't go into the mine. Why are you asking me? I'm sorry. This is so stressful. I'm worried about my husband, Boril. He went back inside, and I have no idea what happened to my idiot cousin, Renvis. He's concerned about the workers, thinks they're still in the mine. I'm so worried. Boril hasn't raised a sword in years, and the Kwama aren't acting normal. Will you go after him? Take him these potions, and drink one yourself before you go. What a terrible waste. I hope you drank one of Adras's potions. Otherwise, this is going to be a short visit. Here's another tip free of charge. Keep your weapon handy. I've never seen the Kwama this aggressive. It's such a waste, isn't it? You're going to have to kill a lot of Kwama to get through the tunnels, right? Letting them rot won't help anyone. Why not harvest their cuttle? It's the waxy stuff on their beaks. Million and one uses. I'll give you a fair price for it. In all my years, I've never seen anything like this. I came back to look for my wife's cousin Renvis and the rest of our missing workers, but I haven't had much luck. I've been stumbling around in the dark, trying to avoid getting eaten by Kwama. But I did discover something quite disturbing. Treachery! The mine is filled with open vials spewing noxious fumes. This was no accident. I sealed several of the vials and cleared this chamber. But I can't get down to the lower levels without getting swarmed by Kwama. If you do, you'll be the hero of Deep Crag. Seal the vials in the middle and lower chambers. If you run into any miners, give them one of Adrasa's potions. And keep an eye out for Cousin Renvis. He's not the sharpest arrow in the quiver.
Come and join us. This spot is safe above the smelly fumes. Safe for the little scribbles. And leave the wee scribbles? They weren't really affected by those nasty fumes. Most burrowed away, clever and cute as can be. <laughs> but these little beauties are safe here with me. Nice and safe, aren't you, my little friends? Yes, you are. We're just fine, aren't we, little ones? Yes, we are. Careful of the big old warriors and workers, though. The fumes made them very grumpy. They might even be mean to the scribbles. Careful of the mature Kwama. The big fellows don't like this smell. No, they don't. These little guys aren't as sensitive as their elders, so they aren't angry. Oh, and be careful if you see the Kwama Queen. Not friendly. Not friendly at all. It's a shame that some of the Kwama have to be put down. Ha. Huh. Let me guess. Arona convinced you to harvest Kwama cuttle and bring it back to her. She probably gave you some line about not being wasteful and putting the stuff to good use. The only person she plans on helping is herself. She'll sell the stuff in Mournhold and make a tidy profit. Thanks. I'll make my way out of here. I'll make my way out.
Kwama went crazy. He wasn't supposed to be like that. Why did the Kwama go crazy? The smoke vials were a joke. She said nobody get hurt, she promised. I didn't do anything wrong, I swear. It wasn't even my idea. It was all Hidras' idea. I knew it was wrong. I promise that if I don't get eaten by Kwama, I'll go to the temple in Mournhold and pray to the gods with all my might. I'll even give gold to poor people, when I get some gold. We have to get out of here. I know a shortcut, but there's a big Kwama in the way. It went into that tunnel over there. If you poke its eggs, I bet it'll come out. Then we can run up the tunnel and escape. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. Thanks. I did a stupid thing. Idrasa gave me this necklace, so I'd do it. She said it was a present from Cousin Borrow when they got married. It's worth more than I earn in a month. She said Cousin Borrow only cares about the Kwama. She thought that if the mine got closed for a few days, he might take her to Mournhold. She wanted to dance and shop and have fun. She never thought the Kwama would go crazy. Here, take Idrasa's necklace. I, I don't want it anymore. I can get out through the tunnel, now that it's clear. I'm really sorry. Really, really. I'm getting out of here. No more Kwama mining for me.
Were you able to gather any Kwama cuttle? What does it matter? The Kwama had to be killed. Is it better that the cuttle go to waste? Why pass up the opportunity to make some gold? Or are you thinking of selling the cuttle yourself? My idea, my profit. Alchemists can't get enough of it and it's not commonly available. That makes this the perfect situation. I won't apologize for being pragmatic. You fetcher! It was my idea. Fine. I'll give it to Goral. I'm sure he'll pat me on the head for being so loyal and honest. Who needs all those annoying gold pieces cluttering up their purse anyway? You're back. Is everything all right at the mine now? Then you know what I did. I can hear it in your voice. It was foolish and dangerous. I'm so ashamed. I've been trying to make up for all this by helping the injured workers. It was a gift from Borrell. If he sees it, he'll know I was involved. Please. I deserve to be punished, but I don't want to lose Borrell. If you don't reveal my part in this, I promise I'll find a way to make up for it. Workers, poison fumes, enraged Kwama. Could anything else go wrong? Let me see that. This is my wife's amulet. She told Renvis to poison the mine? Why would she do such a thing? Foolish, selfish woman. Workers were hurt. Livestock was killed. I won't tell the others what she did, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to trust her again. I can't believe she was so selfish and thoughtless. Maybe I'll send her to my mother's net farm in Stonefalls. She'll hate that even more than Deep Crag. Please forgive me. I'll never do such a foolish thing again. Foolish, selfish woman. I'm sending you to my mother's net farm in Stonefalls. Not your mother's. Not Netch's. Anything but that, dear husband. Borrell will send me away. I can't blame him. I'm grateful he didn't tell the workers what I did. I still can't believe what Idrasa did. Foolish, thoughtless woman. I'll send her away as soon as things settle down. I don't want anyone to learn what she did, but I need time to get over this. 